every boss in the early half today as Tinubu White collapsed in the early half today. I missed what Akwabio did. They never expect Akwabio to do this to Bola and Men Tinubu. Everywhere shit. So I'd like us to stay connected to the end of this video to see what Akwabio and other senators did in the House of Assembly that makes Bola and Men Tinubu wife to go down in tears in the early half today. So I'd like us to stay connected to the end of this video. You can share this video and show it share it. Share to different social media platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can't share it, just like it. Like it, give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. I'll be there still connected and coming back again. Welcome you back to Lajubong Wash TV. I got a bad news for you today. The whole of religious gossip. And if you believe you find for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian door? Join now to make sense with Lajubong. Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome back to Lajupo Watch TV. For those of you coming across the channel for the very first time, ensure you click the red subscription button appearing on your video screen and do well to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in a few hours time, YouTube will easily let you to know. A lot of things is happening in the Asorok chamber right now, a lot of things is happening in the political space, you know, Bola Amen Tinubu left the country but before he came back, a lot of things have already gone wrong. Akpabio and other senators in the Asorok chamber have already sit down to make a conspiration that is is not favoring Bola I mean, Tinubu at the moment. This thing is bringing Tinubu down and makes the wife of Tinubu to go down in tears in the early half today. So I will be playing you the video. You will see everything that really transpired in the early half today. If you can share this video, ensure you share it. Share it to different social media platforms. Let it go viral. Let a lot of people get to know what is going on. And if you can share it, just like it. Like it as a watching and give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. You know, I missed how Tinubu entered into the presidency. You know, in course of the time that they were doing primary, Akwabio stepped down for Bola and Mentinubu in the primary election and you know he released his delegates to Bola and Mentinubu. The video circulated online in 2023 and he pleaded that other people in APC should to step down for Bola and Mentinubu personally and he said this and I missed everything. A lot of people stepped down for Bola and Mentinubu and that is how Tinubu was able to win the primary election against Osibaju because Osibaju occupied the second position and all of that as if that is not enough in course of the election. Akwabio pulled his support for Bola and Men Tinubu and even Tinubu pulled his support for Akwabio just to ensure that Akwabio won the Senate seat. So the team worked out for the two of them. Tinubu became the president and Akwabio also became the Senate president at the same time. And now we never expect that Akwabio can do what he did in the early half today to Bola and Men Tinubu. I missed other senators though Akwabio never wanted to do it. But when other senators were insisting in that house of assembly that Akwabio must do it, Akwabio have no choice. And this alone have weighed the wife of Bola and Men Tinubu down. And I would like us to stay connected to the end of this video to see the video that is circulating online now. A lot of people were asking the question, why did Akwabio do this? Is it that the money that Tinubu is allocated to him is not enough for him again or all of that? A lot of people were asking the question, why did Akwabio do Even Oshomole asked the question, why will Akwabio do such? Because this alone is a big blow to Bola and Tinubu. Just stay connected as I come with the video. I'm coming back again. <laughs> Unknown to Nigerians, in 1993, six years before he ran for his first term in office in 1999, Tinubu was charged in the United States of America for narcotics or drug trafficking. Charged before the United States District Court, Northern District of Illinois, in a judgment docketed and dated October 5, 1993, the United States government compelled Tinubu to forfeit all sums in nine different accounts in First Heritage Bank, Citibank NA, and Citibank International. In the document titled, Degree of Forfeiture as to Funds Held in First Heritage Bank, it states clearly in Article A, unquote, the United States filed a verified complaint for forfeiture against the funds in the above captioned defendant Tinubu's accounts because there was probable cause to believe that the property represented proceeds of narcotics trafficking or is a property involved in financial transactions in violation of 16 U.S.C. 1956 and 1957 and therefore was forfeitable to the United States." Unquote. 
It is alleged that Tinubu escaped physical time in prison by entering a plea bargain and thus forfeited all funds in all his accounts to the United States government. There is surely a lot more to Tinubu's dark past. transparent in the decision. I am accountable to my conscience and to my community. Death sentence is not a matter for A, nay or nay. Everybody should vote so that we will be counted when it matters, those who vote for death and those who vote for punishment. I, no, no, you cannot, we we'll take a vote. It's a, it's a fundamental issue, we are making law here. This is not a motion. I have responsibility for any law that I made while I'm in this parliament. No, we can't pass it because I don't believe that the nays, the highs have it. It's about life and death. time and moment that we have opportunity to deal with the problem that is silently or even loudly killing our youths in the country. And this law that we are now trying to pass must be strict enough in order to discourage importation, sales, peddling of drugs that is killing our youths and destroying our community. Uh, when we come to the close to close consideration, but before then, I want to call the attention of our colleagues. This amendment is supposed to toughen the laws against drug trafficking or use. Therefore, section 11 of the proposed bill, the proposed bill, section 11, distinguished colleagues, go to that, was the original submission. It's supposed to be toughened in order to discourage. So, I am surprised that the committee is recommending a softer punishment. It was a life imprisonment. In fact, we should change it to death sentence. This is practice everywhere in this country that are serious about dealing with drugs. So when we come to take it close by close, please, distinguished colleagues, let's change that section 11 to read death sentence, either by hanging or whatever. This is why I am, as we go along, my other observations, but please, distinguished colleagues, let's show seriousness in this tent assembly that we have opportunity to look at the law. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. I didn't want to stop you of what we did in respect to plus 11. I, the president Mr. President, I think I'm... Um, Mama Tari Mungono, I represent Don Nod. And I want to create the indigenous to read the report rather than abuse for the purpose of our government. I think the purpose of the report. Thank you. Mr. President, the single colleagues will be called. 
With every sense of responsibility, and as a patriotic Nigerian, I, I want to comment. Yes, I, I move respectfully that we take a look at plus 11 of this bill. <laughs> 
Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can see what is going on in the House of Chamber right now. You know, all the senators stood up in that House of Assembly, and this is a place where they begin to make laws. And these people have actually made laws. This is when Nigerians are having an issue with them. These people were amend the constitution, and they will not allow Nigerians to know about it. They won't bring it out to the public space for people to put their own opinion whether they are okay with the new law or not. These people will readjust and amend the constitution without allowing anybody to know now they come up with the fact that people that are dealing with drugs and all of that all those drug traffickers or people that are abusing drugs they will be sentencing them to death it's, it's not even life imprisonment and all of that yes everybody is okay with that because drugging is not the right thing to be done in any country and all of that it's not the right thing to be done now if they sentence them to death at least that will reduce the number of drug traffickers that we have in nigeria and mind you the video that i just finished watching tinubu is allegedly a drug lord according to a report this report have been circulating with evidences that Tinubu was into drug in Chicago back then when he was in US now when they now making the law that drug traffickers or drug abusers will be sentenced to death and all of that what of Bola Amen Tinubu that's a question that Nigerians are asking and that is where it affected Bola Amen Tinubu because when they passed this law Tinubu wasn't around Tinubu was outside the country because they I'll be looking for Tenubu for more than seven days before Tenubu come back to Nigeria. And it was spending the time that they were looking for Bola and Men Tenubu. That was when Apabio and other senators in the House of Assembly passed this law. They said drug traffickers will be sentenced to death. Now, the president is a drug lord, according to reports, according to sources from David Hundey, Reno Monkley, and a lot of that. They have the documents and all of that. They brought it out for everyone to see. And you can see the video I showed to you in this very video. You can see the drug issues, the drug papers, and everything of Bola and Metunubu when it was in US. According to the report, they said he escaped jail. That was why he ran to Nigeria and all of that. Now, they're not passing the law. Is the law going to affect the presidency? That is what we want to know because they are passing this law now. Is it not going to affect Bola and Metunubu? We are waiting. If any politician should invite involved is or self in drug we are waiting maybe they are going to sentence the person to death and all of that we are waiting to see what is going to happen in this country because according to what we know in this country the law is only for the poor the law is not for the rich you can see the case of yaya below and all of that and even that is a common man or yao boy that stole money in that was stuff like that even yao boy that is even collecting item card gift card and all of that if ESC want to arrest them they post them anyhow how much much more the person that stole 80 billion naira in this country with evidence when ESC have the evidence why is it that they're looking for Yaya Bilo till now as if it's a microorganism that they can't see Yaya Bilo is not in US it's not in UK it's not in the diaspora it's not in any country that they don't know it's in Nigeria and yet they are saying that they are looking for Yaya Bilo but I don't mean that it is all this Yao boy or all these people that are not like I mean the common masses they would have located the person easily you can see what is going on in this country now they have not addressed the Ayabelu and even Beta Edu case. Do we hear anything about the corruption case of Beta Edu and all of that? Everything went down. The law is not for the rich in Nigeria, it's just for the poor masses. Now, this law that they just passed in the House of Assembly is just for the poor because I believe we are waiting when we see a politician physically that will commit the same drug issue and all of that. We will see maybe they will sentence the politician to death, or maybe they are not going to re amend the law again just for him to befit or suit the politician that is a victim of it or all of that or if it is Bola and Metunubu maybe they will sentence Tinubu to death we see what is going to happen and Nigerians were asking the question why can't they pass it to law to that any politician that steal money that they should send the politician to death by hanging that's just it they are not even sending them to life imprisonment you can say that they release the former CBN governor MFLA with all the money that MFLA is told they still release him they grant them 50 million naira bill now can they pass it to law that's what nigerians are asking that any politician that steal money in nigeria they will sentence them to death is not going to reduce the corruption rate that we have in the country they can't pass that to law because many of them in the house of assembly are corrupt that is why they can't pass such a thing to law now they are not passing drug traffickers to law we are not saying that it is not good it is good but they should pass it to law that any politician that steal money too 
they will sentence them to death. Unlike how they do it in other countries, they will sentence them to death by hanging, like in China and in some Asian countries. Any politician that steal the public fund, they sentence them to death and all of that. They should try that in Nigeria. We are going to clap for them and we'll watch maybe the law is really going to work. So I'm going to get to get another 20 others for you. Make sure you follow me on my social media handles on Facebook at Lajipo Watch TV and Lajipo Entertainment on an Instagram at Lajipo. Guess what, guys? See my next video. Bye. I see the hugs for my body, I say make a young yeah. Religious gossip today for body, for body. Yeah. Pastor where the lion yeah. top be pastor yeah. For yeah. like you pop watch TV yeah. Pastor where the bar, where yeah. where yeah. Politician where the new yeah. pass yeah. himself yeah. 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 Why you waiting for church? Yeah. 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 Yeah.